Hey everybody, out here still uh, sanding and spraying and sanding and spraying, but we're uh, we're getting pretty close. We're making some headway, so let's take a look at what we got. No, you're not bringing home another piece of junk. <laughs> Okay, so I shot a little guide coat on this side that uh, um, I'd sprayed. So all I gotta do is block this side down and this side is done, ready to paint. This side tonight, um, between yesterday and today, sanded all of the uh, slick sand down and just got done shooting two coats of 2K on here. Got the door jam shot with it. And then uh, came over here and got these valances shot with it so we're pretty much done with the big primer i mean when i uh when we paint the bottom of that deck lid i'm gonna try that uh do some epoxy sand it a little first do some epoxy on it then do the color on it and i'm hoping to be doing that this weekend but uh anyway during the week here i think we're just gonna be sanding these two sides down and uh and then i think Somewhere in here, when I get, after I get these two sides sanded down, and I'm sure the car is ready, I gotta, I need to wash it, um, but I need to blow all the dust out of it. But before we paint this, we're gonna paint this dash, so I, I need to sand that too, and uh, we'll get that done before we get her set up for paint. And then hopefully this coming weekend, we're uh, we're doing the final clean and building the paint booth in here. So. Uh, we're looking good. That's it gonna be it for tonight. I'll uh we'll pick this back up tomorrow and see where we're at. So I had this whole side guide coated, hit it with 180, and I hit it with 320. Uh did the whole side, did the door jam. So I am going to still gonna wet sand this, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side done. To this point I got it just shot some guide goat on it so we'll hit that in the next couple days um, then when I got them both to this point I still got like a little bend hole here and there a little chip here and there so we're gonna do one last round with that uh, glazing putty and get them them little pin holes and chips I got not too many, but, uh, you know, I know where every one of them is <laughs> after sanding on this thing for so long. So get it uh, as good as I can get it. Went in and got some guide coat on these things. Like I said, I'm not going to get real crazy about these, but uh, I'm saying that this, I might as well sand those. Start pulling some small parts out. You know, I have my glove box door, got a little primer on it. So we're changing the color on it. And then my uh, gas gas tank door it kind of had some rust back in there so i cleaned that up and uh, put some rust inhibitor of that i think i'll actually screw that i'll get some primer on that and sand it and i think we'll paint that on the car i'll screw it, put it back on the car and we'll just paint it when we paint the car so rolling right along here looking good so uh let's see tomorrow night i've got uh Actually got to put a CV joint in the wife's car. So probably Thursday night, we'll get back out of here and uh, we'll get this side and this door jam knocked out. And um, I'll work on those. I don't know if I get all those done or not. But I've got uh, Thursday, Friday, the weekend to get this thing wrapped up and then um, Start cleaning and building the paint booth. Get that uh, get that trunk lid back on this thing. Okay, so that's it for tonight. We'll pick this back up in a day or so. All right, so I've been sanding all week on this thing. And uh, I think we're done with the main body. I think we're, we're done sanding. But, well, I still got to do some wet 400 on it, but all the guide coat sanding so we did all the 
320 and went and the 180 went back with 320 and uh, fixed a few spots here and there and it looks and feels pretty good so there's a few bin holes in this thing still that I'm gonna go around with the glazing putty and hit you know I don't know if it was a bad mix on some of this uh, some of this filler but it just seemed like it got a lot of pinholes in it. And it's, it's a good filler. It's, you know, it's Evercoat lightweight. I've used it before, not had a problem with it. But, you know, what are you going to do? You just, you just, you just fix it. <laughs> so, anyway, I got both sides sanded. I got the jam sanded. I got the dash sanded. Um, knocked the first guide coat off of these things. And I'm going to hit them with some 320. But, like I said, I'm not too worried. They're not going to get too crazy with those. So. So, uh, tomorrow, today's, tonight's Friday, tomorrow, we're going to roll this thing out of here. I'm going to vacuum it, blow all the dust out of it, and wet sand this whole car with 400. And uh, then I'm going to sand these. I forgot about this thing. <laughs> so, I think I might just shoot some... Uh, so actually the paint's in good shape so i think i'm just gonna sand it and shoot some epoxy on it and then uh paint it with the car there's really nothing to fix on it and then i did these before we're gonna go ahead and rough these up and we'll paint them um i'm still hoping this weekend i started sanding on the bottom of the hood i sprayed this with epoxy and uh, I said, I'm not going to get too crazy with this. I just want to knock some of the some of the bumpiness off of it. I'm going to go ahead and do it by the color. Um, I, I really am hoping this weekend I can get this trunk lit up on the table. And we're just going to... I'm just going to hand sand that the bottom of this thing. Hit it with some epoxy, let it dry a little bit, and then hit it with some color. So before we do the whole car, we need to do that. I need to do the door jams and I need to do the trunk jam. So not sure if we're gonna get all that done this weekend and we're gonna paint the dash this weekend. So not sure if all that's gonna get done this weekend, but uh, we're gonna get a wreck and uh, try and get it all done. So I'm, I'm not really showing it while I'm doing it. It's just, you know, a bunch more of the same. There's more and more, more and more sanding. I'm sure y'all know what that looks like. So we'll just keep checking in. Uh, do some short check-ins and see where we're at so uh, i think that's going to be it for tonight i'm going to go in and uh clean up make some dinner hit it early in the morning and uh get this thing rolled out and get on it and uh, we got a lot of cleaning to do too even though we did the big clean a week ago we need to we need to do it again you know, and uh start hanging plastic for a paint booth so but i'm excited man we're close to seeing some uh we're close to seeing some color on this thing. This is awesome. All right, we'll check back shortly. Uh, good morning, everybody. So I uh, <clears throat> went through last night before I went to bed and and uh, took that glazing putty and went around and hit every little pinhole I could find and sanded them out this morning. And you know, I just put a little dab on my finger and pushed it in the pinhole. So there's not much of it on there. But something I noticed when I was doing that is back here on the quarter. So like here's where the emblem, the Impala, there's an Impala cross flag emblem and an Impala script that goes back here. So if you look at this, you got one, two, three, four, five, six holes. This hole is between the second and third hole over here. When you go to this side, got the same, one, two, three, four, five, six holes, but this hole, is between the first and second hole and I looked inside the quarter over there it's like well, did I miss it and accidentally fill it and uh, no <laughs> I didn't so I'm not sure what the deal is one of them is wrong I mean unless the emblem the driver's side emblem and the passenger side emblems are different, but I don't I don't have the emblems. 
he didn't have with, with car I was just gonna go ahead and buy him you can buy him off of off of eBay so I think what I'm gonna do is just that's a tiny hole it's like an eighth of an inch hole I'm just gonna take mix up a little dab of filler and squish it in both of those holes and uh, sand it and paint over them and then whichever you know both just this hole up here on both sides and paint over it and when I get the emblems whichever one is right I'll I'll drill it back out so uh, yeah weird <laughs> but you find weird things on these old cars so anyway uh, we're gonna push this thing out Blow it out, clean it out, suck it out, vacuum it out. Um, we're going to wet sand that whole car. We're going to sand these. We're going to sand this. We're going to sand these. We're going to sand the back of that hood. We're going to sand the back of that trunk lid. And we're going to clean. So this is like going to be an, an all weekend excursion. So uh, I, I'm bound determined to be done sanding and uh cleaning here and have some have some paint on some stuff by tomorrow by end of day tomorrow so let's see how far we get okay so we uh i blew all the dust out of here did a good sweep and blew it out again and we're gonna go out and blow that car out and vacuum it out and um and uh, wet sand that whole thing with 400. So I'm gonna shut these doors while I do that because I don't want that dust blowing back in here. And uh, once we do that, we'll uh, we'll get the car back in here. And I'm gonna pull the wheels on it. We're gonna put it up on jack stands because I'm gonna scrub those wheels. We're gonna paint those wheels when we paint the car. And uh, and we'll see if we can get some of this uh, some color on this stuff today. All right, check back shortly. All right, so we rolled this car out. I uh, wet sanded the whole thing and then uh, filled up a bucket of soapy water, washed the whole thing, hosed everything out, blew everything out, hosed out the entire inside, shop vac it all out. I want to get all of the dust out of this thing. So, uh, that went really good. I'm happy with it. So, you know, but I'm still, still got stuff going on with pinholes. I don't know if I mixed the, you know, mixed the filler too quick and didn't, you know, mix it enough or what's going on. But I got a few over here, just tiny ones. So I'm going to have to re-sand those and get them. But man, back here. Right in here, there's just a ton of them and little tiny ones that might not even show up through the paint, but it's like, I went this far, I ain't taking a chance. So we'll sand them out tomorrow and, uh, and um, wash this quarter down again. But, um, yeah, for all intents and purposes, she's about ready to mask. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this dash and uh i hate to leave my doors closed because it's so nice outside but i do not want any dust blowing back in here now that we've cleaned it um so when we need, when we uh paint this thing this week we'll probably i'll probably wet this floor down and you know i'll have my booth set up and everything but uh you know i want to keep this dust free as i can in the meantime so i've, I've sanded everything before we did all this so Got the bottom of the hood, got the bottom of the deck lid, those little parts over there, some little parts over here. So I shouldn't have to make any sanding dust except for that little, those little spots of glazing putty. And I may fire up the shop back and, and hold that there while I'm sanding those just so I don't get any dust going anywhere. Okay, so. Um, I want to get the wheels off this thing. I want to get it up on jack stands. 
couple reasons i don't want to have to try to mask the wheels off uh while we're painting that's just i have a hard time with that plastic blowing around when i'm doing that and the other thing is we're going to paint um the wheels body color um so i'm going to have them off there while we uh when we mask this thing down so let me i'm gonna pull those off we'll uh shoot this dash and then i got the the uh glove box lid here we'll shoot that too Ooh, I better take that out and wash it. That's dirty. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, moving right along. All right, there you go. One custom black rattle can dashboard. I think it looks pretty good. A couple goat tractor paint. And, uh, yeah, I like it. Okay. Let's uh, pull some wheels. All right, we got them blocked out. This is how I'm going to tape it. You haven't seen this before. This is all G-body front suspension. Got vented and rotors on it. They're drilled and uh, G-body disc brakes. And I've got uh, braided hoses on the brake lines. So. Uh, also got Chrysler screw-in ball joints on the bottom of this thing. Um, so yeah, they've got some pretty neat stuff in this thing, actually. So, thank you, Bill, for doing all that. Now I don't have to mess with mess with suspension or brakes. All right, I'll tell you, I'm about wore out for today. Here's the wheels. So I don't think we're I think I'm just gonna put a rough sand on these and uh, and just shoot them like they are. Now, I might shoot some epoxy on there first, shoot the epoxy wet, and then shoot the wheels. <clears throat> but I don't know that I'm gonna keep these on there forever. But and they got like brand new tires on them, so I'm gonna use them for now. I'm gonna keep the trim ring off and get the little flat rally cap. Try to mimic the uh, dog dish stock hubcap look a little bit. So I think that'll look pretty good. Okay, so that's gonna be it for tonight. I'm gonna take a break and we'll pick this back up after church tomorrow. And I'm hoping tomorrow we can get this we're gonna mask all these areas. I'm hoping we get some paint on this. I don't know if we're gonna get it on the door jams or not. I'm gonna try to get it on the trunk jam. So we'll just cover this whole thing in plastic and just tape this jam off. We'll do this trunk jam and we'll do the bottom of the trunk lid. Then at least I can get uh, the trunk back on and we can paint it with the trunk lid on it. <clears throat> One less thing we gotta try to paint off of the car, so. And then, uh, could do door jams with the car, I guess. I'll talk to, talk to Kyle, see how he wants to do that. All right, that's it for today. We'll pick this back up in the morning. So we're going to shoot a little bit of paint here tonight. Um, I don't have my paint booth up yet, but everything I'm painting is just like firewall and door jams and all that. So, um, you know, if it gets a little fuzz in it, I'm not too concerned about it. I, the floor is pretty clean. So we're just going to do, we're going to do these door jams. We're going to do the bottom of this. We're going to do these guys. We're going to do the trunk jam. And we are gonna do the firewall. So, um, I might just see some color on here, so we're gonna go ahead and sh shoot all that stuff and see what it looks like. Um, I need to tack everything down. I need to, I think I had said this before, I bought a clean bucket. I'm gonna mix both my gallons of paint together in there and then uh, pour them back into gallons because I just, I just wanna make sure that uh, 
you know, the tent is all the same. So uh, let me get all that set up. We'll shoot this thing. I'm gonna shoot a little, I'm gonna shoot a little epoxy primer on here first um, and then shoot the color over that. But, uh, and we'll take a look at what it looks like when we're done here. All right, back in just a few. All right, there you go. I really like that color. I think this is gonna look killer on here. All right, so let me, uh, I'm gonna mix up a little primer first and we'll hit the, uh, I went around, tack racked everything. We'll hit the bottom, we'll hit the trump lid and that, um, whatever you call it, other thing. And then uh, we'll come back and mix some color. All right, closing in on it. All right, there we go. Put two coats on, just got done unmasking it. And uh, man, I love that color. It's definitely got that 60s vibe to it. So we did firewall, got the door jams, got those. Got the bottom of the deck lid. That thing is hard to paint with all those little indentions in it. So I know I got some dry spots on it, but I ain't worried about it. It's inside the trunk. And we got the trunk channel. And we got the other jam. So I think it came out great. I'm, I'm really happy with it. So, uh, and I did it all with a $16 Harbor Freight gun. So uh, I just wanted a cheap throw away and uh, I've seen a few guys online do them and I thought, heck for, you know, might as well try it since I'm not doing the outside of the car, the really important part that you're gonna see all the time, just doing the firewall on that. But heck, I think it, I think it came out awesome. All right, so, uh, this week we're gonna we're gonna uh, hang the plastic in here, make a paint booth. I've got all these pinholes to go back over and resand, and then she's ready to shoot. And uh, we'll line it up with Kyle for a time to get in here and do it. And uh, by next weekend, I'm hoping uh, if his time works out, we're gonna have a fully painted Chevy, and uh, life's gonna be good. All right, so, uh, and I'll tell you what, this paint, this um, Vision Vision Auto Paints from uh, Fairview, Missouri, this stuff sprays nice. I mean, it, it just, even with that cheapo gun, it just really lays smooth and it's, it's almost idiot proof, which is good for me. <laughs> so, uh, all right, well, I'm gonna clean up a little bit out here. We'll see what the Lord's got for us. And uh, thanks for sticking around on this part. Go Cardinals. I don't know if anybody's following uh, the Pujols race to uh, to try to get to 700 home runs. But, uh, well, he's killing it. He was at, uh, hit two home runs last night, almost three. Uh, so he's at 692. Four more he'll pass a rod. Eight more, he'll make 700 home runs, and I just, uh, I think the guy's gonna do it. So I know everybody's rooting for him. All right, let's uh, let's go see what the Lord's got to say, and we'll end this one. Hey, all, how's it going? So, uh, man, it feels good to see some color on that car finally. So, uh, and uh, I really do like the color. I think it's pretty cool looking. It's kind of got that 60s vibe to it. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, as far as, uh, Bible readings tonight, I, I don't have a specific reading lined out, uh, but, you know, when I was, uh, when I was in church today and, and, uh, listening to the sermon, um, uh, and, and there's been kind of some things going on with me the past couple of weeks that, uh, I just, have just really felt convicted about my, my own behavior on some things. And, um, and, uh, you know, I, I try not to bring... Uh, politics onto this page, but I, I am a conservative Christian, you know, I've, I've voted Republican all my life, and, um, you know, the past uh, few years, I guess, I've just 
really gotten drawn into uh, the side of, of arguing uh, of, about politics and, and into that mindset that um, I don't want, I don't want to say everything, but most of the things that we think as Republicans and Christians are are, are right, and that the other side is wrong, and um, have expressed my views uh, probably more forcefully than I should have, um, you know, on different social media sites and and uh, you know with my family. Some of my family is Democrat. So, I, you know, through a lot of prayer I've just uh, and, and things going on, I've just really felt convicted that uh, um, that's kind of been Satan pulling me into that, and I need to get away from that. And, and uh, I know if, if Christ were here today, um, he wouldn't be, you know, going to the RNC convention and saying, oh, you people are all right and the Democrats are all wrong. You know, it's, I, I think there's, there's right and wrong on both sides. And I think uh, uh, my job as a, as a professing Christian, uh, as a believer of Jesus Christ, is to put forth the kind of, uh, the kind of persona or, or be the kind of person that um, a non-believer would, would want to listen to. Um, <clears throat> and, and I think getting too far into the politics is, is ruining my witness. So... Um, I really want to stop doing that, and uh, you know I'm, I'm still going to vote how I'm going to vote, and I know other people are going to vote how they vote. But um, you know I know the Lord loves us all, no matter what side of the uh, political aisle, aisle we're on, and um, and uh, you know my job is to to uh, tell you about <clears throat> about salvation and about. Jesus Christ and, and how much he loves you and how much he desires a relationship with you uh, no matter who you are and what you believe and uh, I am just as much a sinner and just as much a failed human being as anybody else so um, <clears throat> I'm real, I, w- I want to try to be that way and um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm really going to try to um, um to be more have a uniting attitude than a dividing attitude so um, I want to thank uh, my pastor brother Matt for some of the sermons he is uh, he's put out the last few weeks it has just uh, you know really touched my heart in that way and um, and I just want to encourage all of you you know maybe if maybe you're on one side or the other that political aisle and have been pointing fingers at the other side and saying, hey, I'm not like them. Well, you know, it's, that's not who we need to be. We need to <clears throat> look at that other person and say, hey, i got something awesome to tell you, and uh, it's about my Savior, Jesus Christ, and I, He loves you, and He wants to know you, and, and I want you to know Him too, and it doesn't matter who you vote for. Uh, that's still the case. So, um, and that's what I'm going to do. And uh, <clears throat> let's say a quick word, word of prayer, and we'll, uh, we'll end this video. Father, I just uh, I thank you for the, the times that you convict us and that uh, uh, when you let me know that I'm doing the wrong thing. And I just I thank you for your, for your discipline and for, uh, for letting me know that... Uh, that you love me, but uh, when I'm messing up, that that I need to straighten things out. And I just uh, <clears throat> thank you and praise you for 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 being my father and for for guiding me on that path. And I just pray if there's anybody out there that uh, is experiencing that same struggle, that uh, you would bless them and you would bring your sense of compassion and forgiveness to them and uh, <clears throat> and help them to to put you first. And we ask this in the name of your precious son, Jesus. Okay, hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, pass this video on to your friends. Pass this video on to your enemies. And uh, we will, next time, I hope, be putting color on the whole car. One thing I know, I'm done sanding, and that makes me really happy. <laughs> All right, saving junk, over and out. See you next time.